complaint with IDB about government's use of funds as concerns raised with World Bank. GCOM receiving political directives to delay snap elections in breach of constitution. GPAC accused of cover-up theft of 60 roll at the institution. And in sport, Narine and Russell not ready to return to West Indies duties. These and more right now in this our Saturday, January 26, 2018 edition of News Update. Good evening, I'm Sandy Ramutar. Thanks for joining us. The People's Progressive Party has raised concerns with the World Bank about government's expenditure during a period when the state should be paving the way for early elections. Opposition leader Dr. Barra Jack Dion Thursday told reporters that his party has alerted the World Bank about the collapsed APNU AFC government's expenditure during this time when it should be in caretaker capacity. Jagdio referenced home improvement subsidies that were recently distributed. We have seen the, the accelerated use of money by passing all the safeguards, the transparency safeguards. So they are giving out free money now for, to, to fix your house and all of that. But guess who are getting the money? Many are friends and family of APNU people and a few ordinary people are benefiting from this. Very few, but their friends and family are making the list ahead of other people. And so what should have been done over time, they're rolling it out in the three months. According to Jack Dio, they have already raised concerns about government spending with one donor agency. The next step, he said, is for the party to raise its concerns with the Inter-American Development Bank, IDB. And this is money from the Inter-American Development Bank. We plan to write them. We plan to raise this. We've already raised this in a meeting with the World Bank about the abuse of resources um, uh, in, this, in this period. Jack Dale also raised concerns about land distribution and whether it was being done in an equitable manner. According to the opposition leader, there are cases where land is being distributed to persons aligned with the government. Since the passage of the No Confidence motion on December 21, 2018, the opposition has said government should be in caretaker mode. Government has insisted that programs under the 2019 budget will be carried out as per normal. At a recent post-cabinet press conference, Minister of State Joseph Harmon said that government would not operate in a caretaker mode but would continue business as usual. In fact, the minister issued a direct statement to public servants that they must continue to carry out their functions as per normal. According to Harmon, government fully intends to carry out all its programs in the 2019 budget. The minister insisted that public servants had a duty to ensure these programs are carried out. According to Jack Dio, however, Harmon cannot protect public servants who do wrong and as such he advised them to be careful of being used for nefarious purposes. Kippany Jordan reporting for MTV's News Update. We tell you now that the Opposition People's Progressive Party has already started engaging the international community following the passage of the confidence move. Opposition leader Bara Jagdu yesterday met with a team from the Caribbean community to discuss the confidence motion against the government. The visiting team included Chairman Dr. Timothy Harris, Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, and Secretary General Orwin Larocque. The leader of the opposition was accompanied by the party's presidential candidate, Air Fanali, Opposition Chief Whip Gail Tichera, and Member of Parliament, Juan Egil. In addition to this, Jagdu already informed the international community of the political state in the country. The European Union and the ABC countries were already informed and letters were sent to international organizations. A constitutional crisis emerged after history was made with the passage of the first ever debated confidence motion on December 21, 2018. The government and opposition were unable to settle on common ground as to what constitutes a majority in the National Assembly. It was government member Charandas Persaud who voted in favor of the opposition-sponsored confidence motion, which saw the government toppled on December 21. The opposition is concerned as preparations have not yet begun for the 90 days snap elections by the Ghana Elections Commission. 
People's Progressive Party's Chief Whip Kirti Sher is not satisfied with the outcome of the meeting with Chairman of the Ghana Elections Commission, saying that from all indications, the elections body is dragging its feet on hosting of national and regional elections to be held in accordance to Article 106 of the Constitution of Guyana. She noted that the Commission failed to satisfactorily address the concerns she raised regarding the timelines, noting that there are more questions than answers following the meeting that ended abruptly. On the other hand, Chief Whip of the Government, Amna Ali, stated that it is evident from discussions at the meeting that the elections cannot be held by March 19 deadline. On Thursday, PV Commissioner Bibi Shadik related that Chief Elections Officer Keith Lowingfield ought to be in possession of a work plan proposal within 90 days. This information, however, is yet to be divulged. This comment was made by Shadik following a meeting with GCAM Chairman Justice James Patterson and his team. She, however, accused the government's commissioners of coming up with new issues with the intention of delaying or avoiding the constitutional requirements. She explained that she would have produced a timeline that would have allowed for the hosting of elections within 50 days. We tell you now that the Georgetown Hospital is being accused of an attempted cover-up as the body of Cherise Mendonca is switched and a post-mortem was carried out on the wrong body without the family's consent. Here's Kipney Jordan. As if harsh criticisms and investigations into the death of three children dying from unknown causes was not enough, the body of the third cancer victim has gone missing and the Mendonca family given the body of another six-year-old girl belonging to a family in Bartico. News Update attempted to make contact with Chief Medical Officer Shamdi Upasad for a comment, but calls to his mobile went unanswered. The latest cancer victim, six-year-old Shariza Mendonca, who died on January 24 while on life support at the GPHC, was handed over as another six-year-old, Delicia Huelu, to a Bartica family for burial. Lawyers for the Mendonca family have since requested by way of letter a stay on the post-mortem for Monday 8 a.m., and the presence of a private pathologist to be flown in from Trinidad. Turns out, Cherise's body was missing when the family got to the hospital after lunch on Friday to uplift her body to have it secured at a private mortuary. Following checks, it was discovered that two bodies were switched even with the name tags intact. Government pathologist Dr. Nihal Singh, who performed the autopsy on Cherise Mendonca with her name tag intact, wrote his finding as cardiac failure as a cause of death on the certificate with the name Huelu Delicia. The family with Cherise's body was almost at Perico when the contact was made. The Huelu family claimed that they positively identified Delicia Huelu before this happened. There is no record of the security check of the body leaving. According to a lawyer, this seems to be an attempt to pervert the course of justice and compromise the investigation that has been launched into three deaths of children suffering from leukemia. The drug used in their treatment was also discontinued. Meanwhile, six-year-old Delicia Welu, who fits almost an identical body built to Shariza, died on Wednesday last. Her body is still awaiting a post-mortem examination. Kippany Jordan reporting for MTV's News Update. You're watching MTV's News Update. More news after the break. When you need money and you've got to get it fast, Creative Jewelry and Pawn Shop is the place for that confidential transaction in a quiet and secure location. You'll get the highest value per penny weight for your gold and also enjoy the lowest interest rates and longest payback period too. Yes, for that instant transaction to solve a pressing financial problem. That Creative Jewelry and Pawn Shop, 4 to 6 Boyle Place, that's between the Ministry of Housing on Brick Dam and White Castle Fish Shop, be your first and only choice. Creative Jewelry and Pawn Shop, safe and sound, solid and secure, always there for you. Telephone 231-7878 and 223-8955. Be on windows and doors. Fully equipped to handle all your commercial projects. Whether you're constructing a small or large commercial building, residential property, or just upgrading your home, they got you covered. Beeson Windows and Doors, providing unmatched quality windows for your home, office, and commercial building. Located at 1228 Eccles Industrial Site. For more information, call 662-4197 or 622-6943. Did you know that Hand in Hand is the longest established property insurer in Guyana? 
We've been serving Guyanese for over 151 years. You can visit our 15 offices countrywide, whether you're in Burbese, East Coast, East Bank, Linden, West Coast, Essequibble, or in Georgetown. You will enjoy competitive rates and a superior customer service, as well as our convenient payment options through MMG and Scotia Online. Hand in hand, safeguarding your family, always secure. With thousands of items to choose from at everyday low prices, it's a guarantee that you'll save big at Raymond Hannum's General Store. From local products to the best foreign brands, you'll find everything you need and so much more. When we say more, we mean more. More products for more savings. Expect more, pay less. Raymond Hannafs General Store, 48 Princess Street, Georgetown, Guyana. Did you know almost one third of deaths in Guyana are heart related? Chronic inflammation is the root cause of atherosclerosis, the process that leads to cholesterol clogged arteries. You can now lower high triglyceride levels with Omega XL and reduce the dangerous inflammation that causes these problems. So to ensure a healthy heart and reduce your risk of disease, get your Omega XL today. Live long, stay strong with Omega XL. Everything is connected, our planet, our water sources, including the water we drink. Sometimes harmful bacteria end up in our streams and canals. Although treated, the risks are high. You can prevent this pollution and contamination by maintaining your septic tank and grease traps. Call the experts at Puran Brothers Disposal Incorporated on 264-1239 or 603-5050. Keeping it clean is what we do best. Computer high tech at the height of technology. 42 Cold Street, Stabber. Telephone 223 7866. Top Printing and Signs for quality and affordable printing and signs for your business, flyers, copies, business cards, brochures, posters, banners, A-frame signs, roll-up banners. Top Printing and Signs Company stationaries and supplies. Top Printing and Signs Vehicle graphics, storefront signs, 3D and vinyl cut letters, and much more. Top Printing and Signs Custom design and printing of wedding invitations and funeral programs. Top Printing and Signs Professional inefficient with great customer service and quick turnaround time top printing and signs 234 South Road Lacey Town Georgetown Guyana call us today at 223 4555 or 695 2199 top printing and signs Secure your property, secure your life, get the best security service from us at KGM Security Services Incorporated. Highly trained armed and unarmed officers at affordable rates. We offer armed mobile patrols, personal security, cash escort, alarm monitoring, quick response units, also rental of executive vehicles with armed guards. 74 Axora Avenue, Bellier Park, Georgetown. Contact us on 663-3227-699-0084 or 654-1800. KGM Security Services Incorporated. We are your source for security. Millionaire by only spending $100 on a Daily Million ticket. Simply pick any five numbers from 1 to 26, or you can buy a quick pick for your chance to win the Daily Millions. Purchase your tickets daily, Monday through Saturday, to get a chance to win $1 million every day. So, feeling lucky? Then buy a Daily Millions ticket today. Remember, a ticket today could make you rich today. Welcome back, you're still with News Update. As massive anti-Maduro protests continues in Venezuela, the Federation of Independent Trade Unions have signaled its concern about the recent developments. The Federation of Independent Trade Unions is concerned as thousands protest against Nicolas Maduro after disputed elections in Venezuela. 
The Federation is deeply saddened by the ongoing violent protests which are aimed at destabilizing the legitimately elected government. The union remains confident that Venezuelans will stoutly defend their sovereignty. The Federation says it stands in solidarity with the country in the present anxiety-filled times and trials. Ghana is among 19 countries supporting a resolution which refused to recognize the legitimacy of the Maduro government. The resolution was taken at the level of the permanent council organization of the American states, of which Guyana is a member. The boyfriend of the teen who committed suicide at the Mays Secondary School has been detained and is assisting with investigations. Her skipping it over Director of Mays School's Secondary Division, Paul Burnett, urges parents to listen to their children and be involved in their lives as the death of the 15-year-old student was sudden and unexpected to both her parents and teachers. Embrace them, try to be a friend, keep the line of authority clean, but at the same time let them know, look, I'm your friend, you can talk to me about anything. Further, Burnett refuted the claims that Mays is covering up the use of drugs in the school because they were made aware by the Ministry of Education of drug use among minors. They were trained on what to look for and since then the teachers have been vigilant. Reports are, the boyfriend of the teen has been detained and is assisting with investigations into the matter which alleges the teen was using drugs. Vanika Schultz of Tushin East Bank Esequibo died at the Woodlands Hospital after 12 on Thursday, hours after she had told Burnett she had allegedly ingested carbon tablets. The 15-year-old had been vomiting uncontrollably but passed on when she was admitted at the hospital. Kippany Durden reporting for MTV's News Update. Coming up after the break, MTV's Sports Update and more. Stay with us. Mark? I'm in the kitchen. <gasps> this is amazing! I love your tiles. Make an impression with the finest tiles imported by Lens. Lens has a huge selection of various tiles for your wall, floor, and pool needs. All of our tiles are of grade A quality, which are the highest quality tile rated. That means they last longer and are less likely to damage or crack. We're the sole distributor for many reputable companies around the world. At Lens, we have special deals for contractors and bulk shoppers. Shop at any of our locations to get the best in towels. Lens, our product, your creation. Excellent Creole dishes. Fresh bread and pastries. Yes. Breakfast and lunch available fresh Mondays through Fridays. We open 7 a.m. Delivery available. Wholesale breads and pastries available soon. Call 219-5003. With three locations. Lock 5 to Ennis Street, Sophia. 36 Durban Street, GPO Building. Dion's Delight Catering Service. We cater for all occasions. You. Available at Infinity Color Shop, Princess and High Street, Georgetown. Telephone 226 7693. Save big with everyday low prices at Highway 401 Furniture Store. Choose from our huge inventory of elegant home furnishing, or let's build you a custom piece to suit any room in your home. Elegant dining room sets to sophisticated living room designs. Accessorize your kitchen with modern pieces from our collection. Transform your bedroom with standard against size beds and mattresses, bedside sets, and vanities. Shop now. Save big at Highway 401 Furniture Store. Making your home a beautiful place. Financing and layaway plans available. Bridgestone or nothing.
For all your supermarket needs, check out Nervous at 49 Sheriff and Craig Street, Georgetown. We have a wide variety of groceries, confectioneries, alcohol and non-alcohol beverages. Fresh meat, fruits and vegetables also available. Don't forget to check out our cosmetics section. Best prices, great deals. Modern Optical Service has made it even better by introducing its budgeted spectacle line, starting as low as $10,000 for single vision lens and $12,000 for bifocal lens, available in tinted or clear, complete spectacles at affordable prices. So hurry down to our main office at 316 Middle Street or Lot 14 Diamond Public Road opposite Demerara Bank. Enjoy over 60 years of eye care experience at affordable prices. Modern Optical Service, your eye care professionals. Check out NNY Apparel and Boutique for all your beautiful shalwars, gararas, saris, lehengas, squirters and children outfits. Bridal outfits for men and women. We also have in stock Indian jewelry and footwear. Puja items, wedding items, malas, mortis, jandy flags and much more. So come down to NNY Apparels and Boutique located at Lot A, Belmont, Mahaika in the Market Square, bottom floor of the mall or contact us on telephone number 676-3710. Visit us now for all your Indian items at reasonable prices. Introducing the new Softex Soft Toilet, Toilet Tissue, Tissue, now available across Guyana. Softex is silky smooth because it's made from virgin pulp. Softex is soft and gentle, soft to, and every gentle touch. to every touch. Even babies can use it. Manufactured and distributed by B Pats Paper Manufacturing, Eccles Industrial Site. The, the choice, choice is clear. clear. Two Softex toilet tissue, super soft and super durable, guaranteed. Secure your property, secure your life, get the best security service from us at KGM Security Services Incorporated. Highly trained armed and unarmed officers at affordable rates. We offer armed mobile patrols, personal security, cash escort, alarm monitoring, quick response units, also rental of executive vehicles with armed guards. 74 Axora Avenue, Bel Air Park, Georgetown. Contact us on 663-3227-699-0084 or 654-1800. KGM Security Services Incorporated. We are your source for security. It happens. Your septic tank is full. All the waste from your toilet goes into your septic tank through the sewage line. When your tank is full, the two most common indicators are an overflowing tank and an overflowing toilet. It is recommended that Sivon's Waste Management empty your septic tank every two to three years to avoid any embarrassment. And before you can say, shh, it's gone. Call Sivan's Waste Management today at 218-1455 or 218-1156. Welcome to Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc., Guyana's sole distributor of NP and ultra lubricants, SKF bearings, seal and belts, international trucks and parts, and NAPA batteries. With a bond capacity of 30,000 square foot, we offer superior brands at affordable prices and the best after-sale service. ISG supplies sustainable integrated solutions to make your business a growing success. Visit us at our new main office at Lot 4Q Peters Hall, ISG the best opportunity to make the right choice. Welcome to MTV's Sports Update. An unbeaten double century by Jason Holder's teammate Shane Thurridge to reach his son has given West Indies a 627-run lead over England and near three of the first tests in Barbados.
Westonies are set to be without Sunil Narayan and Andrew Russell for their one international series against England. Narayan informed Cricket West Indies that he is not confident in his bowling to get through an ODI, while Andre Russell informed that his knee is not yet up to the demands of 50 over cricket. Narayan has not played an ODI in over two years, but insists he is keen on returning to international cricket. Narayan withdrew from the 2015 World Cup squad to work further on his actions and is expected to work with Carl Crow, spin bowling consultant, in the coming weeks. This news certainly eliminates any chance he has of playing in the 2019 Cricket World Cup. Russell's involvement remains possible. Since he is fit enough for T20 cricket, he has been involved in the BPL and has just been announced as a replacement for Steve Smith in the PSL, but feels his fitness is not quite at the required level for a longer game. He last played an ODI in July 2018. Chelsea Griffith reporter for MTV Sports Update. Japan's Naomi Osaka beat Czech Petra Kivinoka in a thrilling Australian Open final to win back-to-back -back Grand Slams and became the new world number one. The US Open winner 21 shed tears after missing three championship points in the second set but regrouped to win. The fourth seed broke for 2-1 and decided and served out the win. Eighth seed Kivinoka's 28 was bidding for her first major title since being stabbed in a knife attack. Welcome to Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc., Guyana's sole distributor of NP and ultra lubricants, SKF bearings, seal and belts, international trucks and parts, and NAPA batteries. With a bond capacity of 30,000 square foot, we offer superior brands at affordable prices and the best after-sales service. ISG supplies sustainable integrated solutions to make your business a growing success. Visit us at our new main office at Lot 4Q Peters Hall, ISG, the best opportunity to make the right choice. And that's a wrap in today's broadcast. Before we go, here's a reminder of our top stories. PBB to lodge complaint with IDB about government's use of funds as concerns the race with World Bank. GCOM receiving political directives to delay snap elections in breach of constitution. GPHC accused of cover-up theft of 6 year rule at the institution. And in sport, Narayan and Russell not ready to return to the West Indies. Catch our at 23 hours today and at 6 hours 30 tomorrow. On behalf of our news and technical teams, I'm Sandy Ramutar. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.